We start by moving the king's pawn two squares forward. Then we move the queen's pawn one square forward to open up possible options for the bishops. Next, we move the bishop out of the king's way to prepare for castling. Next, we repeat the same move on the other bishop on the other side to open up more options for castling. Here we move the knight to continue the process of castling. Here we repeat the same step on the other side. The final step is to move the queen out of the way to provide two options on both sides for castling. Now that we have removed all the pieces in the middle of our rooks and our king, we can now castle. Castling is a move to secure your king by basically switching places with the rook. By doing so, you have secured your king towards the corner and allows your rook to be able to capture the opponent's pieces. Keep in mind that it has to be your king and rook's first move and able to castle. Now we can focus on controlling the center, playing offensively and defensively. In conclusion, our conjecture is that the act of castling will increase your chances of winning the game of chess. By doing so, you secure your king towards a corner and allows you to play offensively and defensively with your other pieces.